Come on, Mariah. Okay, come on, man. For real. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, man. If you don't do it this time, I'm gonna smack you. the subscribe button you hit the like uh comment and then do something to your post notifications and we roll with that because that's the best it's gonna get because i don't like doing this so, come on and go ahead we rolling it we rolling it and the only option is to roll it or either roll it so <laughs> Might as well roll it. <laughs> Come on. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so... Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video from us. And before we get started, today's video is going to be a uh, Q&A or a couples Q&A. &A. This is our first video of 2022. Yep, 2022. So happy new year. I hope that everyone has a blessed and prosperous new year. I know we have a lot of goals that we have that we want to accomplish. I know you guys do too. So we're cheering you on. Cheer us on. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So um, help us help achieve us that goal achieve too. achieve that goal so we can spread more positivity. Yes, That's and all love. All we're trying to do is just and show love. everybody that we can do everything. We can we, we in this together. You know what I mean? We can, now you don't even be doing this. So I don't even know why you <laughs> even mm. why are you doing it? Cause you don't even be doing this. Shoot. I mean he's a positive person, but now I don't know what this whole <laughs> script he just had going on. So we're doing a couple's Q and A and we are gonna get right, right into, into it. it. All right, so I asked on Instagram, which if you're not following us on Instagram, um, please follow us. You'll see our Instagram and TikTok down below. Go follow us on TikTok and follow us on Instagram. On Instagram and I already said it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what was you doing? I literally just said TikTok and Instagram. Why would you so behind? So the first one is- How old are we? None of y'all been. <laughs> they want to know. <laughs> I'm 32, bro. 32. I'm 28. 32 flavors. Oh. I'm chugging. Oh, I'll be 29 this year, y'all. Then 30. Oh. 30 is so, like, I don't know why 30 is so scary for me. Every time I think about it, I just think, I don't know. I just find I'm crying when I hit 30. Weren't you able to know when you hit 30? I was not, actually. I don't think men. Well, okay, were what, you? They go through okay, were you not through. like? No. Anxious, like before thirty came, like oh my god, I'm about to be thirty. No, bro, I'm just. It's like such a significant number, like. I I feel like people have in their mind that when you hit thirty, there's some some type of transformation that happens or something. I mean, like, you don't you know just, what's gonna happen. You're just the same as you were the day before oh, sorry. you. The day before when you were twenty nine, you're the same person. I like, mean, I hope that you're wiser. And I hope that you know but a little bit more, but but, it, but y'all act like it just comes in an instance. Like I you mean, just, no. Uh, you hit thirty, you just yo, it. like you're back immediately. So I heard when no, you. No, it's just you're getting 30. older. Like I'm, I'm it's just you're getting older, and it's just scary. That's all. It's just so, thirty. My goodness. Okay, well, what is our signs? I am a Virgo. My birthday is September first. My sign is stuck. Boy, if you don't get <laughs> what, don't get your life together, cause you. I'm a Taurus. Yeah, can't y'all tell? I'm a Taurus. Can I, can y'all tell? Yeah, that's supposed Drop to in the comments right now. If you <laughs> tell that he a Taurus. What, what you mean? What they supposed to mean? They should be able to tell. <laughs> the way you act, he a Taurus. If y'all know, put in the comments y'all know, cause he. 
I don't know. He a whole different. No, you a whole different. He a whole Virgo. different. Can y'all tell you she a Virgo? They probably can't tell I'm a Virgo. Mm -hmm. He's say, annoying. You say so. Do you want to get slapped on camera? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Did not think so. How tall are we? I am 5'11". I'm 5'2", but I really think I'm 5'1". For whatever reason, every time I stand beside somebody that say they 5'2", I'm always shorter. So I think they lied on my license. Do you think I'm 5'2"? Maybe your kneecaps just ain't as long as you thought they were. <laughs> this is why he a Taurus. This is why. <laughs> Where are we from? I am from... Chattanooga, Tennessee, chat, the big Tennessee. Don't ever call me <laughs> chat rat because they always call us chat rats. <laughs> always, I am not a chat rat. Uh, That's just not what I am. Now I might be a little ratchet, <laughs> but I'm not a chat rat. <laughs> that, you don't ever call me that. Now, Bob. Where you I am from the lovely small town of Atmore, Alabama. Near Mobile, it's probably like 45 minutes outside of Mobile near Baldwin County, which y'all probably don't know where that is either. Um, Some people might know. He's from Atmore, Alabama. Why do you say that like I didn't just tell them? <laughs> like you just told them something new. He's from Atmore, Alabama. Well, he's from Atmore, Alabama. And it's a very small country it's town. It's very small and quiet. Well, a lot of dirt roads, quiet. a lot of nothing. It's country it's a, and hood. It's a one Walmart. Country and hood. It's a one McDonald's. That's all right though. It's our one McDonald's. It's a one, as I say, churches, but they ain't that's got right. that no that's more. All, that's all right. That's our one closed church. They got a casino. That's right. It is. That's how it's well known. That's now. well known. Oh, there. the Wind Creek Casino. If anybody know where that is, like that's my hometown. Where do we live? You go. You can say it. We live in the hearts of those who grind with O's. Oh, okay, see. They at no. my show. <laughs> This is what I mean. That's young Jesus, if y'all don't know. This is what I mean by <laughs> him being a Taurus. This is what I mean. Don't nothing be serious. Everything is a game. Okay, we live in We can't never be, we can't never get stuff done because everything is a joke. Okay. Literally. We live in Atlanta, Georgia. Everything is a joke. Okay, guys. How long have we been together? We have been dating since 2009, September ish. September ish. Honestly, I don't know the date because. Mm, yeah, I don't know. It, it probably like. Pro it was September. It was probably a year or two after. Maybe a year and a half after that. We went on our first date September 4th. 2009. Of 2009. And it's still undetermined when we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, so, we really used, still so we used 2009. So we had to use our first date, unfortunately, even though we weren't like yeah. officially together. Because we it was really more so like a year and a half, maybe. Somewhere in there. We don't know. We just, <laughs> it just happened. Because we never really just was like, okay, we official. It mm -hmm. was just, I think somebody asked and I was finally tired of saying she's my friend. So I was like, yeah, that's my girl. Yeah, it just came out because we, we don't know. We really don't. I so. never really asked her or we never made an actual agreement. We never had a mutual agreement that we was dating. So 2009 is what we Yeah, I with. don't even know how I got to this point. I just woke up in this morning. was just in this house. Now you so. need to quit playing because you <laughs> wanted me to be your girlfriend and your wife and everything else. So don't do that. So 2009. We've been together since 2009. How long have we been married? I answered it. You know. I don't know. You need to know. <laughs> okay. We've been married like... Like, <laughs> you, we were married four years. It'd be five on May though. Yeah, May, five May, years May of marriage on five thirteen twenty two. That's kind of scary. Get five years already. That's, that's kind of scary. I don't know. That's crazy. That's scary. Like just thinking about it. We've been together since two thousand nine. What's, What's that? Like twelve years? Yeah, we count in two thousand nine. Uh, how did we meet? So we met at church. That's really where we met it and established our relationship and it kind of went on from there. But yeah. What are our dog's names? <clears throat> well. One of them right here. One is right here. Which is Jack. He always in the video. This is Jackson. Jack. <laughs> Come here Mojo. This is Mr. Jackson. And this Mojo. And this is Mr. Mojo. 
So we got Jack and Mojo. And Mojo is the elder statesman out of the two. Yes, he is. He is a living. But he's so precious. And that is our Jackie Jack. Jack right here. He is four. Who said I love you first? Who asked this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you did. So go on tell you. You already know I said it first. Right, because you know you did. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah, I said first. I'm gonna tell you, don't tell y'all. Now, I will give y'all the backstory on when I first figured out like I was in love with her. So, the princess and the frog was out. What? I don't even know if you ever told me this. Story. I have told you this. Because remember, I told y'all that's where I got that Neo song from. The best thing I never knew I needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I was watching the princess and the frog, and so the, the closing credits had came on. And so, the song um, by Neo, the best thing I never knew. I need it, and the and the stuff he was, the stuff he was saying in it was like describing her, and I'm like, am I in love? And why is a Disney movie making me <laughs> like realize that I'm in love with somebody, bro? Like, <laughs> but the word, but the song, like he was saying, it did make me realize, okay, maybe she means like a lot more to me than I thought she did. You know what I mean? That's when I first realized like that I was in that I was in L O V E with this old hot Cheeto sexiness over here. That's so sweet. <laughs> why would that be a hot Cheeto? I said hot Cheeto sexiness. But why do it have to be a hot Cheeto sexiness? Why can't I just be sexiness? Why does it have to be like something in front of it? Because that puts identity on it. <laughs> no. Like, no. But they let know that I said it. Because one nobody but me call somebody a hot Cheeto. Right. Sexiness. Like, oh. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't know if I like the hot Cheeto sexiness. Okay. I did dye my hair though, y'all. So I'm gonna do a video on that too. Um, probably coming up if y'all wanna see how I got my hair red. Obviously I got these dreads in or whatever, but I am a redhead now. Do we want kids and how many? So yes, we do want kids. I want four. This, this is always an argument, so. We like to see what happens when we have our first one because I've always been told you might not want that many after the first one, but I'm that's my number and I'm sticking to it. I want four. Two and a half. And how do we gonna get somebody two and a half kids? Best I can do is three. What the hell? How, how, best how, I can, how can you get two and a half? <laughs> Where does the half come from? <laughs> I'm just trying to compromise. We can, we can do a set of baby legs if you want. To. <laughs> what is our love language? You don't know your love language. I'm, I'm, I'm acts of service. This, that's me. Acts of service and words of affirmation. You need to take it because you don't know. I do know. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. I know I don't want no gifts. I don't. I can give a damn about gifts. Like <laughs> hell, fuck a gift. Hell. Like what they gonna do? <laughs> Like I can't, I don't, that's just not me, bro. Like you can be like, you can slap. That's our love language. My camera died. Sorry, y'all. So for me, love language is <laughs> words of affirmation and acts of service. And mine is too. And she thought I ain't know what, what mine was. Ooh, what? Well, mine is too. And she thought I didn't know what mine is. You did know. I did, cause he I told you I didn't want no gifts. I know I don't want no gifts. What's the other? Don't, don't say you don't want gifts. You I like don't. gifts, but you're that's not your love language. That's right. So but you again, but you like gifts. I give an analogy. If somebody slap me, and you go buy me a pair of J's to make up for it. I'm gonna wear the J's and still ask you. We didn't tell you we need to talk about why I got slapped. Like so, I don't gifts don't work for me. I figured that out early. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a so. gift. I'm not like a my love language is not gifts. But I appreciate I'm appreciative of gifts. I'm very appreciative of gifts, but I'm just saying that ain't just my like end all. Nah, like, I'm, I'm asking for service and words of affirmation. So you need to mean what you say, say what you mean. Right. You need to do what you say you're gonna do, right. and you need to show up. Like right. I need to know that's what you're gonna do. That's me. If you actually speak louder than words, exactly. for me. If I'm doing a good job, like tell me I'm doing a good job. Don't let the first thing you tell me be something I'm doing wrong. If I've been doing all this good stuff, like for me, they don't like come and tell me I'm doing a good job. Like tell me what I'm doing right before you just start going in on me. If all this stuff I'm doing, and you pick out one thing I'm doing wrong, so that's why I said ask for service and whatever you see. I feel like there's some shade in there somewhere. Ain't no shade in there. <laughs> no, it's not.
Okay. It's just really easy. It's no shade. It's just me being honest. This thing, I'm just saying that because I know you do it now. Like, it's oh, it's okay. not to say you don't. I know it was a time that you weren't, but you do now. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure. <laughs> That's why I said that's our love language. We both figured that out. Like you figured that out, I figured that out. It does Anthony have two moms? So, well, I'm gonna let you explain it. Yes, I have two moms. My stepmother just so I happen to be to bless my life since the age of four, I think, that I can remember. Like since I think I've had memories, she's always been in my life. So yes, I've always considered her as a mom because she's done stuff. You know, for me that she didn't have to do at times, and I appreciate that. So it would be dis kind of somewhat disrespectful of me to not acknowledge her as, as a mom, considering she's been in my life for like ever. So, mm -hmm. so yes, Ted. So yes, I do have two moms. Yeah. And my real mom, love her to death. Yeah. Have we ever went viral? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh. Okay. Funny story. A couple of times. Funny story. We ain't, I ain't never went viral before. And neither have you. I've never gone viral. I've never done anything to, to go yeah. viral. Like, I'm not even a social media person. Yeah, you. I'm he just ain't. Now starting to. Yeah, get into social media. <laughs> so, yeah. We have, in, was it 2020? Last year? Yeah, it was just last, last right? year. Not even a full year yet. Yeah, last year. Um, I've always been social media, y'all. So, I've always been a part of social media. He literally talked to me about trying to be more comfortable with being on screen and the way that y'all see him act is literally the way he I acts act all the time all day every day <laughs> and, 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 I, and it's I the same putting up with it though cause <laughs> yeah because he annoying but it's the same for me like what y'all see is what y'all get and so these <laughs> he came to me and talked to me about it and he was like i want to make a tiktok because i had already had one so we made one for us together and so on our TikTok, it's like uh, comedy videos because he's very stupid and I comedic, silly. if that's a word. Is that I a word? Act. Comedic? Com yeah, that's a word. Oh, comedic. Okay. Um, and he likes to joke on people and <laughs> mess with people, annoy I'm mis people. I'm mischievous, if that makes sense. He bad, okay? He's like a bad little kid. And so he likes to do funny videos. And so we do funny videos on TikTok sometimes serious videos on TikTok. And one of them specifically, which I'll put um, on the screen so y'all can see, that one really shocked us because out of that all the videos the that really, thought, yeah. yeah, went the one we thought we was gonna like actually go viral, but it went like to one point something million. Was it one point something million? Mm. How, many, how many views was that video? Six million. Six million, six million views on that video which is freaking crazy and when i tell y'all like we literally we literally went to sleep and like when we woke up <laughs> the phone anthony was like mariah did this video got such and such such at the time it was probably like a million it was only probably like a million at the time no it wasn't a million yeah it was a it was like k yeah you're right it was like yeah you're right it was probably like a hundred something k yeah something or like maybe that 200, 300, it, it was it was kind of gradually yeah. like working its way up until it got all the way to six million but yeah that was that was crazy that that even happened off that video it's very funny to us that we went viral because it's <laughs> that yeah, I didn't think people thought I was that stupid while well, we was that stupid. So. Uh, yeah, I just didn't think that that was going to happen. But a That's couple of videos. Yeah, I mean. Me, it's like therapy almost. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing it to go viral. But I'm saying, like, I don't know what people consider as viral now. But I guess most of our videos have went viral. Would you like to be famous? No. <laughs> I don't want to be famous. Sure don't. And you know, the sad thing about this is when you do social media, it's like you have to think about that because you hear people say you're TikTok famous, you're Instagram famous, you know, you're YouTube famous. And it's like, I don't really get down with it. I just don't have the need to want to be important. <laughs> and that's it. it seems so bad to say it like that, but like, I just don't want to like, be I'm, important. Like, like, I'm happy with, let me just, let me just say it. Like, I'm happy 
like we're happy just to spread positivity to somebody. Like yeah. if, we, if we make somebody's day just by like showing people that you can just be you on a daily basis, then that's cool. And whatever God blesses us with, after that, like I I have it if it's coming from God. Like I ain't we ain't gonna you know turn away our blessings. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't ever see myself being Hollywood. That's just not me. You know, I'm yeah. just not flashy enough for that. Like I don't I don't have a desire to be flashy. I don't mm -mm. I don't want to be like a. I don't even know how to say it. Like I'm not if, trying to do anything for attention. Like yeah, no, that's I'm not, not saying us. other people are, but that's just not us. Like. We we have like an agreement together. Like we've never wanted to be famous. If God wants to make us famous, then so be it. But we want to keep our same personality, our same style, our same grace. We don't want the celebrity Almost. life or famous life to change us. Like we want to still be the same people. You know, some yep. people get money, get cars, they and get purses, it and it changes, changes them. A it's a lot to do. Yeah, with, I get it. So, and it's just like I've never just wanted that much attention. And you know, when God gives you gifts. It's like you get that attention because I like to sing and so for me being a singer Unfortunately, I get attention because I sing he's very like um, He's a funny person. He likes making videos. So funny videos kind of catches attention to other people and We talk about that up and down all the time Like if that was to happen, what would we really do? And I just pray that God still gives us the same grace and humbleness. grace and humbleness that we have that we don't change who we are because I don't I don't want to be that person and I'm not a bad person I'm not really like a shoe person like we're, we're just not those type of people that's so, why y'all see me in comfortable clothes every time yeah I see me bro like I don't care about we just don't care about stuff like that. Yeah. I never feel like clothes made me anyway. So. Yeah, me either. Or name brands, like any of that stuff. So if we ever be famous, y'all, we probably still gonna look the same. <laughs> I mean, we might buy some, a couple of, you know, I'm fancy things. Life, but I'm just yeah. saying, that's not gonna be my predominant wardrobe. Like, yeah, mine either. Dressed up is because something getting ready to happen. Like, it's a reason. Like, we going yeah. out or. It's just not gonna, I just don't, it's not gonna be flashy. We're just not flashy people. Like you, if we ever came up on some money or ever became famous, you would not be able to tell that we was famous. Because, did, uh, I, did I say that right? You would not be able to tell we were famous. Listen, I'm trying to be like Adam Sandler. If I get famous, that dude don't, I ain't don't never seen that dude with no dressed up clothes on. That boy had some basketball shorts, shorts t-shirt. t-shirt, 365 days out of the year, bro. That's yeah. what I'm trying to be like. Adam Sandler be chill. <laughs> well, you trying to be like yourself. I'm trying to be like myself, but I'm just saying, if I was to be inspired by anybody being famous, it would be mm -hmm. him because he's still like a regular dude. When you're like, so, it's just him. So, more of the story, we want to be able to, to be, able to be around be able to reach everybody. Everybody, yeah. You know, reach everybody and still be able to be comfortable in those scenes with other people and still be able to have a good time. But do we want to be famous? No. But God, if it happens, <laughs> if it happens then I guess then that's, that's the road you want to take us on. But no, nah, we don't want to be famous, no.